Right, so now in this video, what I'd like to do is I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install WordPress from inside of your control panel or your cPanel. So you're going to want to visit your website, okay, forward slash cPanel, and that's where I am right now. Okay, that's where I am right now. And once you log in, you're going to see something that looks a little bit like this. Now, if you've never been inside of a cPanel hosting account before, you'll see up here that they do have some getting started wizard. They have video tutorials. There's all kinds of things that you can do from inside of here. But what we're going to be looking for is I'd like you to scroll down, okay, like you to scroll down and you're going to see this area right here where it says software and services. Okay. And from in there, you're going to see a smiley face. Okay. And there's a program inside of here called Fantastico Deluxe. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and click on Fantastico Deluxe. Okay. And what it does, is, it's going to tell you right here, Fantastico, what it does is it automatically will install certain programs onto your web host. And one of the programs that it can install for you is WordPress. So if you look over here on the left, under blogs, you'll see right here it says WordPress. And what I'd like you to do is just click on WordPress. Okay. And from here, you're going to have a couple of choices. You can go to the WordPress support forum or you can go ahead and click on new installation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see I have no current installations on here. So I'm going to click on new installation. Now, from here, we'll see this page right here. Now, the first thing you have to decide is if you want WordPress right on your domain, right at the base of your domain, basically, so that if someone visits yourdomain.com, they'll automatically be in your WordPress. Or if you have a different type of site where you don't want WordPress on the front end, you can also create a folder here or a directory so that it would be inside of a directory. An example of that would be like if you had a, a sales site and you wanted to put your WordPress in like a blog area, you could just go ahead and type blog right here. But for my purposes and to make things easy on everyone, what we're going to do is we're going to just install it right in the root directory. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to have to choose is we're going to have to go ahead and choose an administrator username. Now, what I'd like to recommend to you is that you not use admin. Admin is the standard that most people use for WordPress. And when you use admin, you kind of leave yourself vulnerable, if you will, to attacks from hackers and whatnot, because they can easily go ahead and try and hack into your password if they know your username. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call my administrator username, main user. You can use whatever you want. And then you're going to need to go ahead and enter in a password. And what I've done here is I've used this very, very fancy password. Not a fancy, but it's a very hard to guess password. And what I did was I used a password generator to go ahead and get me that password. If you want to go to Google, if you just type in a search for password generator, you'll see that there's all kinds of password generators that are out here online. One that I've used in the past is this strong password generator. And what it allows you to do is create some really almost unbelievably tough passwords that would be very hard for anyone to crack. So you can go ahead and go to this one here, strong password generator. Decide how many characters you want to use. Like I, I'll use an 11 character password. And you just click on this generate strong password. And you'll see that it's going to generate a password here that's virtually impossible for anyone to, to guess.
Okay, I mean, it would be virtually impossible. But if you are going to use strong password generator or service like this, you definitely want to make sure that you write down this password in a safe and secure area. So I have already, I've chosen a very good password. I'm, I'm positive that this password is going to work well for me. And what you can do here is go ahead and create your admin nickname. Okay, for mine, I'm just going to use my own name. Okay, you're going to want to add in your admin email address. Okay, which is just going to be your email address. And then here, you're going to want to use your site name. If you see right here, WordPress has already gone in and used my actual domain name as my site name, but I don't want to use that. What I want to do is I want to use you know, some keywords that would be good for search engine optimization. It's not good for your site name to just be your domain name. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this in word format so that it looks like actual words and not just uh, a domain name. And then the same thing you'll use for your description. Use some words that describe your website pretty well. So if you had a website about cars, you'd want to you know, have cars in your description here. So I, that's what I've done. Now the next thing that you want to do is just go ahead and once you've filled these out, Go ahead, click on Install WordPress. Okay, it's going to ask you on this next page. It's going to say, hey, we're going to be installing WordPress at this domain name. Here's where it's going to be. Click on Finish Installation if that's what you want. I'll go ahead, click on Finish Installation. Okay, and you can see that WordPress has gone ahead and been installed. And what you're going to get right here, okay, is your username and password as well as the login for your WordPress dashboard are going to be right here. So you're going to just want to copy this and put that in a safe place. All right. And that's going to do it for this video. WordPress is already installed using Fantastico. If you need any help, just go ahead and rewatch this video. It's going to show you step by step how to go ahead and do this.